Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Heirloom Permaculture. Thanks for coming, hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
around all the openings around the perimeter this last on the end walls and then the ropes are what hold the plastic down over the the rest of it and here's the south wall end wall it's where the doors are I uh, see it's like seven and a half by eight. It'll be two doors. Uh, they'll open French door style, I think. That's the plan right now, anyways. Sorry. Once we start building it, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not like we're working off of a kit on these end walls. We're just building them as we go. So, you can see how big this thing is. 14 and a half wide by 50 long. So, let's take a look at some stuff inside. So, these brackets right here uh, we found online are pretty handy. They're for tying lumber to the pipes. Screw this bracket onto the end of the board. And then there's the brace band that attaches here and they bolt together. So everywhere the end wall is attached to the last bow, that's how we're doing it. And right in the sun. Hey, why don't you have these beds built? Oh, I've had yeah. this. I had this done for like an hour. Yeah, an hour. I did take a minute to eat lunch. We don't need to eat. <laughs> we gotta work. That's all we ever. We do. gotta get this work done so we can eat. Yeah. So it's gonna have a lot of tomatoes, cucumbers, and bell peppers in here. First, there'll be some broccoli yep. and radishes. I don't remember Those what else. Next week. So we yeah. What? No. Yeah. This. This coming week. This coming week. Yeah. These two center. <laughs> future beds <laughs> <laughs> they look like the ones out here yeah so we've got to get the, they'll be planted uh, we did get our soil test results back yep. so we know what we need to add and we'll be doing that uh, as we plant really not that much uh, we're gonna add a little bit of feather mill and some uh, what, did you what order? was the other one <laughs> I don't know what did you get I don't remember it's potassium or something I think yeah we're good on phosphorus yeah. we're way high on organic matter believe it or not way high <laughs> on organic matter. so uh, this front garden actually has 25 percent organic matter yeah so uh we'll be adding some nitrogen uh with the feather mill uh, and then uh i can't remember which potassium what i got you can show yeah i don't remember it, it got here yesterday yeah we have what we need so anyways <laughs> it's just been a long day so uh we're gonna add one pound of feather mill and a quarter pound of whatever else you got <laughs> there's there's a, several options to get and i can't remember what i ended up getting so uh when as soon as uh, i knew what i needed i just ordered it and and, and looked at it since right so, uh it's old, old old person brain right now can't remember so we're just getting up and getting yeah. out here so. and all day but uh, yeah four beds out here uh two in the middle uh, eventually be trellised and the outside will never be trellised no. that's where we're at here so far is there anything else i need to cover <laughs> i don't know are you asking me <laughs> like yeah. I've, i'm asleep too you've so. been, work been working me too hard yeah so we've got the we got everything covered of course we've got the big openings on the end uh but we want to get this done so even if it, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow yes even if it's Again. raining we can be in here building beds or doing whatever yeah. To a certain degree i mean we may get some rain in on the ends here but the majority of it we'll be able to work so right now what oh i didn't even know you were recording <laughs> <laughs> blooper reel no um now what uh now we gotta get these beds ready we need the door and the window mm -hmm. but the beds have to be done like right now and since it's cool season stuff it'll be okay yeah yeah main benefit of getting the door and stuff is to keep the ends drier. Right. Because storm, you know, winds blowing, rain in. So. And but, make it warmer when I'm out here working. Yeah, we'll get some measurements, frame I'm those up, <laughs> build those in the garage or something, yeah. and bring them out here. So the original plan for the window I was going to build was to put it up, the frame up before we put the plastic on, because I wanted a center pivot axle, the whole width of it. And we forgot to do that. We did forget to do that. So now we have to figure out another. <laughs> and now with the plastic way. on, I can't do that. So no. another way to hinge it. Yeah. You know, and uh, so we'll figure it out. It may end up working better because I was 
I was going to use a substandard material because it's what I have on hand. Right. But it would have required doing the whole length, and it's probably better that we don't do that and we just figure out how to do it right. Right. So we'll get that one figured out. Yeah. Get the doors built. Yep. She's going to build beds. I am. That'll be done in the next day or two. Yeah. It's got to be done. Hopefully, y'all uh, enjoy this build. We're not done. No. Um, the real fun is going to be when we start getting it planted. Yeah. But uh, I, I want to thank and not thank Casey and Tori for this. Yeah. So they, I blame they gave us the <laughs> they gave us the uh, the I don't want to say the courage, but uh, the confidence that we could do one. Yeah. Seeing the two of them do build them by themselves, so knew we could do it. Um, but that also made us jump off and do it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to pay off big time. It is, it's, and it really wasn't. It wasn't that, that bad. bad. The worst part is our weather along with it. Yeah. So we're having to wait between snows and thaws. And if you and... don't do the end walls, if you just went straight down, yeah. pull it down to the ground like a lot of them do, or, or scissor doors or whatever, it'd go a lot quicker and easier, and we'd have been done. Right. Uh, the end walls definitely raise the complication level, but it gives it a much more finished look, and it also secures the ends better. And I think it, it tightened up the whole structure quite a bit. It did, and also for our situation where we are, we couldn't really have the... Yeah, we couldn't we couldn't go out several more feet to, with the yeah. ends. Uh, this fifty feet was all we had to work yeah. with, so it had to have an end wall. And being that we're we're basically kind of in town, I mean we're not we're in a neighborhood, but uh, keeping that curb appeal look of it, and you know that little bit of aesthetics for the neighborhood, you know that's important to us too. So right. we want it to look nice, somewhat yeah. professional, right? right. Um, so that we want we want to go after that too. But uh, yep, so. Now it's got to get to planting. Yeah, it's warm in here. It is so warm. I'm okay. about to have to take my jacket off. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's not quite that warm. <laughs> but Maybe once the doors are on. So whenever you leave, be quiet because I may take a nap. Okay. <laughs> go, go, go make me a sandwich. No. <laughs> Give me a cold beer. I need, need your beer. So. <laughs> All right. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Uh, please come back and uh, watch as we continue this whole journey of... Uh, trying to grow raise all of our food for 2020 and get to that point we're getting closer and closer every day we are so more and more stuff going in the ground and above the ground, above the ground. <laughs> so appreciate y'all support and uh i guess see you next time yeah thanks bye, bye.